Ah, sure is nice to be in my beautiful rosé form. Ah, I haven't used this form in quite very often. Maybe it's because of, well, him. But I think I might give this form another try. Indeed you should. Huh? Who the... Well, if it isn't the person that invented this rosé form. Yes, it is I, the nefarious Goku Black. Well, I heard quite a bit of a tale about you. And I must admit, what you've done to Trunks' future was highly impressive. Just just amazing. Why, thank you. It's some of my best handiwork. <laughs> of course, I didn't do it alone. Yes, alongside your other self, Zamasu. Well, technically, I am Zamasu. I just stole Goku's body and called it my own. Yes, I am well aware of that. But what brings you here, Goku Black? Well, I heard about your little problem with your exes and your relationships. So, I came to offer you some advice. You, a Dragon Ball Z villain, is coming to give me, a Sonic hero, advice? Yes. As a fellow Rosé and a god, we must stick together, should we not? Hmm. You do have a point there, Rosé. Now, speak your piece. What is it that you want to wish... What do you wish to talk about? Well, first, let's just say your wife has no control over you. Your wife has no control over you. You're a god. You can do whatever you want. Date whoever you want. Heck, all you have to know is that she is number one, no matter how many girls you have in your arsenal. Yes, I am well aware of that, Black. But here's the thing. Um, I am married to that girl. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> so what? Have you not seen the girl I am with? As a matter of fact, I have not. Who is she, anyway? Her name is the nefarious Chi-Chi Black. She's basically if I, Zamasu, stole Chi-Chi's body. Basically, <laughs> I used it as an opportunity to defeat Goku. Because think about it like this. I may look like Chi-Chi... But everybody knows that Goku won't ever punch his wife. Oh, playing mind games with Goku, huh? I like that. As a matter of fact, I brought me this artist rendering of Chi-Chi Black. Oh, really? What does she look like? Well, here you go. Ooh, she is quite charming. Yes, she is quite charming. Absolutely, positively beautiful. Well, she does look a whole lot like Chi-Chi. That's the point. I stole her body in a different universe. I stole her body. Like I said, it's to... <laughs> mess with Goku. Well, I have to say, you do have your taste in women, Black. Hmm. <laughs> but what about you? What type of woman do you have? Well, it's quite simple. I have a beautiful bunny. Her name is Sarah. Her maiden name, Sarah Rabot. The daughter of one of my closest friends, Bunny Rabot. Hmm, I see. Tell me something. In while you were in the pr in the future in the past, did you ever think that you would ever get with the daughter of your best friend? Well, to be honest, no. I didn't actually think I was going to get with my with my best friend's daughter. 
because that could jeopardize our friendship. You understand. No, I don't, because I don't have any friends. I'm a tyrant, remember? Yes, I do remember. Not to mention everybody doesn't... Not to mention everybody saw what you did to Future Trunks' timeline. Yes, <laughs> like I said before, and I don't like repeating myself. It's some of my best handiwork, of course, thanks to my other self. Yes, I am well aware of that. Anyway, what type of woman do you have? Well, the same as you, I brought an artist rendering of my wife. And here she is. By the love of the gods, that's your wife? Yes, isn't she not beautiful? <laughs> I'll say. And, well, <laughs> I have to admit, Sarah is looking good in all the right places. You dare look at my wife's you-know-what? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Um, I may be a tyrant, and I may be a god, but if there's one thing I don't know, but if there's one thing I do know, it's never mess with another person's woman. But you killed Goku, but you killed Goku's wife and child in your timeline. Yes, I am well aware of that. But like I said, no witnesses. No witnesses. That's my motto. And besides, the no mortal plan, besides the zero mortal plan is still in con is still continuing. Well, yeah. Anyway, back to my advice about your exes and stuff. Now, I do understand that you actually have a uh, person that messed with you. Yes, that tyrant, his name is Mimic the Octopus. He basically injected and planted a whole bunch of things inside my exes to make them break up with me. Right now, they're in the infirmary. Right now, they're in the infirmary recuperating and recovering. <sighs> but I fear once they wake up, their feelings for me will come back. And that's definitely going to cause a problem for me and my wife. Well, so what? Well, so what? Your wife should be the one that's grateful. For what? Just because I somehow started a harem and I wasn't trying to? Don't think of this as a harem. Think of this as giving girls what they want. And since they want you, you might as well give them what they want you <laughs> yes but there's one little problem with that black my wife sarah she doesn't like sharing of course we did do this one deal where if i played a game i we played a game of would you rather it's a very interesting game but anyway we made a deal the deal was is that if i won the girls could be with me but they won't get involved with my with my marriage life. But they will be involved in my love life. But if she won, she... But if she won, I have to give them a serum. So that way, they'll forget all about me. Everything. And of course, I won. But unfortunately, she never made... She never... <sighs> accepted that side of the deal. She didn't keep her side of the deal. I see. Any wife who doesn't keep her word is definitely not worthy. But there's one little problem with that, Black. She is worthy. Like I said, she's the mother of my children. Well, technically, only one mother of my four children. Mm, so you have more kids from other women, am I right? Well, no, not necessarily. You see, I have two children from Sarah, one child from my ex fiance Charlene, who's also down there recuperating, and I am the godfather of Solar the Cat, 
a, the daughter of one of my exes, Blaze the Cat. But anyway, my point is, once they, once all the girls wake up, they will remember all the good times that we had. But here's the thing, they won't leave me alone. Hmm, I do see. Well, with that, there is one thing that you should do about your wife. Oh, really? And what would that be? Put the woman in her place. She has no right to cancel this out. But there is one little problem with that, Black. She, too, is a god. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't like to use these mortal words, but, well, <laughs> you're screwed. You're screwed. Yes, I know I am. That's why I was hoping for you to give me some advice. But apparently, none of your advice is working. Well, <laughs> what can I say? I never, ex I never had this experience. You know, many different girls trying to get after me. But am I? But if I remember correctly, you were once a you were once a Kai, a Supreme Kai, right? Yes. And if I remember correctly, Supreme Kais they do have female Kais out there. Am I right? Yes, you are correct. Then come on, don't you think that? Don't you think that? Come on. You had to admit, you were probably the most focused and studied um, person in your, of your kind. Hmm, you do have a point. I did capture the eyes of many different Kais. But I was more focused on my studies than <laughs> enduring in such immortal things than females. Hmm, I was like that too. When I was in school, I didn't really understand how to get a girlfriend. Heck, sometimes I even accidentally got one. But I was really more focused on my work and studies other than girls. But after when I graduated, now I finally focused on girls. But I must have gotten a little carried away. I see. Well, about this whole living up to your end of the bargain thing, your wife really should give this thing a try. After all, that a deal is a deal. And if she can't live up to her end of the bargain, then, well, she's definitely not trustworthy. I do trust my wife, Black. It's just that when it comes to some things, she doesn't trust me. Like, for example, my other exes down there. She thinks that when they get involved in my love life, they won't. I'll cheat on her. I'll cheat on her. And I'm not. You keep explaining that they'll be involved in your love life, but not in your marriage life. I'm not familiar with these things. Well, let me explain it to you. And flamethrowers, I'll definitely explain it to you as well. You see, in life, there's three different types of of lives you can have when you're in a couple. You see, there's the friend life. That's where you're all buddy-buddy and hugs and stuff. You don't truly love each other. But then comes the love life. That's where you love each other very... That's when you love each other, but you're not married. But you're not married or anything. Which means no physical love, a.k.a. no bedtime sparring or anything like that. Then, then, then there's the marriage life. That's the type of life that me and Sarah have. It's where there is some bedtime sparring and starting a family and everything. But sadly, even my wife doesn't want them to be part of that love life, even though I won't be cheating on her. I mean, sure, just a few dates, hugs, and kisses don't really count as cheating. Cheating is when you, you know, bedtime spar. Well, there are many forms of cheating, but you do understand what I'm trying to say, right, Black? Yes, I believe so. Yes, I believe so. Anyway, heed my words, Flame. Heed my words, Flame. 
it's either this or you might have to or you might have to work out something well how can i because let me tell you a little something about my wife she is a little bit crazy when it comes to relationships and what do you mean by that well here's the thing whenever a girl sometimes flirts with me or messes with me she tends to fly off the handle a little bit and what do you mean by that i mean she either trash talks to them lays them out beats them up or worse she kills them hmm sounds to me she's more like a uh Yandere. If there's one thing that my wife is definitely not, it's not a Yandere black. Hmm. But, here's but, how about this? How about we answer a few questions? One, does your wife, does your wife allow any other girls near you? Well, sometimes, but own, but that's because they're her best friends and they trust her and they trust me that I won't mess with them or anything. Still, does she allow you to be around other girls? Well, the only other time that we're around, the only time I'm around other girls, if answer the question, does she let you be around other girls? Hardly. Hardly. All right. Question two. Does, do you think it's necessary for your wife to get so uptight with a girl just flirting with you and messing with you? Well, yes, I do say it is pretty, uh, unnecessary. I mean, there, have you ever heard of playing around? And final question. Is your wife ever sorry for when she kills them? Is your wife ever sorry for when she kills those girls? Well, half of the time, no, because other times she thinks they deserve to die whenever they try to, you know, flirt with me or something like that, even though they are just playing around. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Anywho, anywho, you should actually consider these things. Your wife, she is showing traits of a yandere, if I have to say so myself. For the last time, my wife is not a yandere, okay? My wife is not a yandere. I mean, she may act like one sometimes, but she's not a yandere. Hmm. We'll see about that. Anyway, on to my advice. My advice to you is... If your wife doesn't approve of you having multiple different girlfriends, then so what? She can't tell you what to do. You're the man. You can do whatever you want. Am I right? But there is a thing called trust. There is a thing called trust. And she does trust me. Yes, and so does Chi Chi Black. I mean, I never cheat on her. Only because she'll <laughs> destroy me. But aren't you invincible? But aren't you invincible and indestructible? Invincible, yes. Indestructible, no. Oh, man. But anyway, I guess thanks for the black... I guess thanks for the advice, black. And remember, don't call my wife a yandere again. Or what? Or else I'll slice you in half like Trunks did with you and Zamasu. Ugh. Such provoked, such insolent memories. Ugh. Is this what, is this what you mortals call pain? Well, yes. Yes. And whatever happened to your phrase, the pain will only make me stronger. And it does. But mental pain, not but mental pain. It doesn't affect me, but physical, yes, it does. Anyway, let me just get back to my world before I destroy this pathetic planet. <sighs> just remember what I said. 
you're the man. You can do whatever you want, despite the fact that your wife just tries to control you. You're a god. You, you control whatever you want. You don't be controlled. Anyway, I'm gone. <sighs> if only Goku taught, if only this body would get right. I can learn instant transmission. Well, Black, if you want, I can teach you instant transmission. Oh, really? How? It's easy. Just put your fingers, just put, put, just put both your fingers in between your eyes like this. Then, just focus on a person's energy. All right. Now, now you concentrate on that person's energy and you let that energy pull you to wherever that person is. Like, say, if you want to go to Chi-Chi Black, just focus on her energy, and it will teleport you there. I see. Well, <laughs> you're not too bad of a mortal yourself. But I'm not a mortal. I'm a god. Hmm. That's the spirit. Now, you just remember that when it comes to your wife. You're a god. You can do whatever you want without anybody telling you otherwise. <sighs> I just don't understand mortal women. Why are they always trying to be the dominant ones in the relationship when it's the man that's supposed to be the dominant one? Honestly, that is a good question that's been rattling in my head for so many years. It's been happening for years. But it looks like women just want their equal share of men. Yes, I am aware of that. But, anyway, I should get going. Well, again, thanks for the uh, advice, Black. I guess I'll see you later. In due time, my friend. In due time. Instant transmission. <laughs> well, he really did catch on to instant transmission really quickly. <sighs> well, I might as well get out of my rosé form before I uh, <laughs> call him back. Uh, and as for Sarah, I really do hope we can come up with a plan for this thing, because I don't know. Anyway, I better get going. <sighs>